Hey everyone, thanks so much for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today, we're going to learn how to put a label on a candle mock-up in Canva. So, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is to create a design. Oh, by the way, just a heads up. Most of the Canva features that we're going to use today would only be available for those with Canva subscriptions. Unfortunately, well, if you're not a pro user, then you can opt in for their free trial period, which you can enjoy for 30 days. And another heads up, this can be a quite tedious process to do, so please bear with me as Canva doesn't have an automatic way for us to create um, a mock-up design for candles. So we're just going to have to find a way around it. Anyway, let's get started. So depending on the uh, dimensions you'd like your label to be, you can go to custom size and input your specific dimensions over here and choose your desired unit. As for me, I'm just going to go with 1080 by 1080. I'm going to do a square logo today and I'm also going to do a transparent background logo. Anyway, let's get started and let's do a simple design today. So I'm just going to press C on my keyboard to add a circle and I'm going to change it to um, the color of my choice. So say for example, this one. And let's add a text box by pressing T on our keyboard and let's add our text. Oops, going to make this smaller. Make sure it's centered and we're going to change its color to white so that it's so that it's easily visible. I'm going to duplicate it and just add a simple text over here. Candle. We're just going to do a very simple logo, but you can be creative with your logo. So yeah, feel free to do so. I think that's okay for now. Um, uh, I guess we should change this to a different font. How about a cursive font? So let's type in here handwriting. Let's choose this one for, for example and make it bigger just like that. And let's add some elements to it to make it look cute as well. So I'm going to type in here flower. And let's choose a nice looking flower that we can use on our design. I think this is quite cute, but it doesn't really match our, um, what do you call that? Our mood. So I guess I'm just going to have to undo it. Let's uh, try to choose another one. Okay, how about this one? Let's choose this one. going to move it here so that I can easily access it. And I'm going to move it to the very front so that we can easily access it. And I'm going to change its color to something like this perhaps. Okay, that's it. That should be it. We're just going to do a really simple design today, but feel free to be creative with your own design. Now we're going to download our design as a transparent PNG. So we're going to click on share, go to download, make sure to select PNG as your file type, and make sure to select transparent background before downloading. So let's click on download. So we're going to rename it candle one, hit enter, and there you go, it's been saved. So now we're going to try to create our mock-up using the um, flattened version of this design. The reason why we needed to download it is to turn it into a single image and yeah, to flatten it as opposed to using this, uh, which, uh, which is a combination of graphic elements. We cannot unfortunately insert this into a mock-up. So we're going to add an image. We're going to go to uploads and upload our candle number one. Let's wait for it to load up. Okay, and I think it's done. 
So now we're going to click on it and click on edit image and look for smart mockups. You can type it over here on the search bar as well to easily find it. So we're going to go for smart mockups and we are going to scroll down to the very bottom and look for mugs. They unfortunately do not have any mockups for candles. So that's why we're going to use mugs as it's the closest thing to a candle. And we're going to choose a mug here that's face front. Unlike this one, this one is um, at a certain angle. We're going to need to have our mock-up um, straight up or yeah, face front, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to choose this. And it's going to take a bit of time. It's going to take a couple of seconds. So let's wait for it. Unfortunately, it's still not loading. So I guess we're going to have to change it to this one. Okay, great. So now we have our mock-up. We're going to click on apply. And we're going to wait for a couple of seconds because Canva would still process the image. And now we are going to um, resize our image. We're going to make sure that our um, design can easily be seen. Oops, what's happening? Zoom out so that we can have better control. And there we go. We're going to have to download this image once again. So we're going to click on share, download, but this time you don't need it to be transparent. So click on download. And we're going to be renaming this as our candle number two. Oops. Oh, I think we downloaded it as a zip file since we downloaded both images. We actually only need to download the second one. So let's try that again. Candle 2. And then we are going to add another page yet again and upload candle number 2. We're going to add it and this time we're going to fill the entire page only with our design like that. The reason why we need to do it is because we need to have it curved so that it would look realistic on our candle later on. So I'm going to click on share and go to download. We're just going to select the current page and we don't need to check transparent background. We're just going to leave it be. I'm going to wait for it. This is going to be candle three. And now we're going to add another page. We're going to upload candle number three. And this time we're going to look for some candles that we can use for our mock-up. So we're going to go to photos and we're going to look for um, a candle photo over here that we can use, but you can use your very own photo. I'm just going to use some of um, some examples or some photos here on Canva since I don't have any. So I'm going to right click and set image as background. I'm going to position it properly and click on done. And now I am going to go back to my uploads section and click this image over here. And I'm going to go to edit image and click on BG remover so that it'll remove the uh, white over here and just leave this over here. Now we're going to click on apply and position our logo right over here. There you go. I'm going to add another page and look for another candle photo that I can use, one that's face front. Okay, how about this one? So right click, set image as background and adjust it, make it bigger. 
click on done and we're just going to copy this control C and control V make it bigger and I'm just going to zoom in to position it properly And if you like, you can actually correct the color here to match your photo. So go to Edit Image and go to Adjust. Basically, you can tweak these settings over here so that your logo will match the color of your image. You can also add filters to it if you want to. I'm just going to flip this image and there you go. You finally created a, a mock-up <laughs> for your candle. So that's it for today. We hope you found today's video of help somehow and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Canva tutorial videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you again in the next video. You have a great day.